This is the Bon Jo Show. This is not your show. We have traded the 905 for G O O O. This is Bon Jo Show. Wow. Yeah, so I want to give everybody a little update video on my whole Argentina. Uh, going to see uh, my baby Enzo yeah, uh, be born into this world. Uh, there's a lot of hurdles, a lot of life curveballs in life, you know. Uh, but it's always, there's always a will. If there's a will, there's a way, they say. Um, so there's always a way around it. It just depends how bad you want it. But I guess maybe during this pandemic, there might not be. Um, damn. Yeah, I know a lot of paperwork costs like... Um, cost a few bucks you know what i mean you got to quarantine it costs two thousand bucks to quarantine for two weeks when you get there um yeah so basically this is the way the process is gonna we're gonna try uh we go to the notary and get our relationship uh certified we we bring witnesses with us and uh, they sign off and uh be a witness that we've been together and we tell them that we are having a baby together and we get it all notarized by a, a government official uh, I have to do it here in Croatia um, She has to do it There in Argentina and then send me the papers. So once I get the papers in the mail the official papers Yeah, basically then uh, we're gonna try to book the flight and go to Argentina uh, and see if that works um, We don't know how if it's gonna work or if it's not gonna work um, And then we have to pay for all the flights and then a whole bunch of stuff, you know, so it'd be nice if uh, anybody watching this wants to help me out, I mean, I'm not begging here, but I mean, it's like I'm in a situation and I don't know. It's like hard. It's like I got to give up one thing or the other. So it's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. So I just thought I'd ask. I mean, buying a t-shirt, liking, subscribing a video, uh, commenting, that, that's helped anyways. Uh, sharing, telling your friends to subscribe, that's that's helped too. So it's, 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 whatever you can help with. I appreciate everything. I appreciate a view, I appreciate a comment, I appreciate a subscription, I, I, I appreciate a like. And I appreciate uh, a t-shirt sale, I appreciate a donation. I appreciate everything is what I'm saying. Um, so I'm gonna leave you with a few videos that Mickey filmed herself. She went to the market with her mom and her aunt and uh, the first video will be of these people graduating. So what they do is when you graduate in Argentina, they cut off all your clothes or when you turn 15 or something like that they cut off all your clothes and then they throw like flour and eggs on you and stuff and get you messy and then you have to walk home pretty much naked <laughs> it's pretty funny i guess uh i mean we used to do stuff like that in canada too so here's a little video i hope you like this this is just a little message video uh and uh, yeah it's pretty i'm pretty bummed out about the whole thing because we already i was gonna book my ticket and leave leave on the 20th of march but they told me it's impossible for me to do that right now. So that put a little wrench in my old gear, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I just, if I miss the birth of my only child, it'll, I'll be super upset, you know what I mean? But it's, at the end of the day, uh, it's not the end of the world, but it'll be brutal, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, here's the videos of Mickey. Baby. The graduate goes in the back of the car and all the cars, you know, is following them. Um, honey, this is something typical from here. When someone uh, graduates for his college, his degree, they come here and everybody, uh, you know, dirty her and cut everything she remains almost nude it's a celebration here she is design she just graduated from design course um, or something university ¿Cómo le va? ¿Tenemos que esperar el próximo? Bueno. Ve. 
maybe I forgot to record the market now I'm waiting online for churros and the market is on the street all this way and in the other corner too um, as you see it's outside and this market this shop has um, people who ask them before for the what they want um, it's okay I'm waiting for the churros now Dame 180 pesos es lo único que me ha quedado, así que... <ríe> ¿Qué pinta? ¿eh? Decí que me faltan tres meses nada más para tenerlo al chico, porque si no... <ríe> ¿Qué paras? Ahora con azúcar, perfecto. Se lo mando a mi novio para que vea lo bien que hago la dieta. Servite, 180 y acá. Muchas gracias, hasta luego. So I have some churros, fresh, recent made, tasty, yeah, baby. So here's a little bonus footage. I just got back from the store. I got a two liter bottle of juicy fruits, multivitamins. You got passion fruit, you got all kinds of citrus, you got peach, you got pineapple, you got grapes. Uh, I bought five Holston, I mean four Holstons and one Poliner. Poliner costs 11 kunas, probably the most expensive thing out of all here. Actually these are. Uh, a Coke Zero, woo! Some High Duke Split flips. Watch that shit flip. Um, some pistachios and some cashews. Pichani, pichana slana, pistachia. Uh, yeah, these are like little um, little peanuts, but they're like almost like a cheesy. You know what I mean? And I got some mozzarella. And some pizza dough. So this all came to a hundred kunas. Um, and uh, I had this leftover, hold on. I had this leftover spaghetti sauce. 
But that spaghetti sauce tastes like, um, basically, it tastes like pizza, pizza sauce with meat in it because it's just a bunch of meat and some vegetables. So what I'm going to do is make some panzerottis. I'm going to cook one, and I'm going to save one for later. So I'll show you how I do that. Let's get into it, baby boy. Let's do that noise. Yeah, boss. Let's put all this away. What we're going to do is cut open the pizza dough. Uh, cut out the pizza dough like so. Cut out the pizza dough. Damn, that's a good pizza dough. But I'm broke. No, you got pizza dough. Can I cash in my pizza dough? Uh, no, that's just pizza dough, ho. Yeah, so here we go. I'm gonna unravel this baby, this little sauce donkey. Woo! See, and it's gonna be so easy because you really don't, there's not much to it, you know what I mean? So, what I'm gonna do is I'll grab my knife. And cut this bad boy down. And then down the slice. Slice it down the center. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, Duff, man. So I'm going to do it like this. So I think, really, this is going to be like pizza squares, more, more or less. I'm going to spread it out a little bit, but not too much. Because you don't want any juice falling out. And, uh... So right here, I got this. I'm gonna put that there. And I'm gonna put this. So we're gonna cut this. Actually, we're gonna cut this here. Two, two months of balls. Grab one matzo ball out. Look at that, that looks like a big testicle. Uh, And we're going to slice it into slices like this, like poker chips, you know what I mean? Place some matzo balls on one side here. Grab some of your pre-made spaghetti sauce. And go like this. Scoopsy sauce. Scoopsy sauce. Scoopsy sauce. And then uh, that's it basically. Uh, I guess you can put another one of these. Or, yeah, you can put one more of those. And, uh, screw it. We'll throw throw another sauce in there. And, uh, so what you're going to do is fold it over. Because all your ingredients is in there, so it's pretty easy, right? And you're going to just pinch, the, pinch it closed. Pinch it closed. Pinch it closed. Pinch it closed. Pinch your clothes, and I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Now, damn, Bonjo. Well, this is just my leftover, so I got to do something with these leftovers. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Billy Jean? And look at this bad boy. This entangled Dom Billy. Woo! Get in my belly! I miss pizza pockets, man. We don't really have pizza pockets, and the ones that we do here, they taste like, like, uh, like cheese whiz pizza pockets or something. It's weird. And basically, that's what you're gonna. It's gonna look like. And I'm gonna make the other one. One's going in the freezer, and I'll cook one for the camera. So, ka ka ka. Ooh, there it's cooking. Yeah. So what I did was coat it in a nice, beautiful, rich olive oil, and then I placed it inside the oven and let that shit just. Uh, Bake and make love to its skin before I eat it. Yes, baby. So here it is. Look at it, all golden brown. Now let's cut this beauty thing. Oh, yes. Feel that steam come off that baby. Oh, yes. It's like cutting a body open. Oh, look at that. So crazy. I think it's gonna have to, uh, I think it's gonna, I think that cutting it in the middle was a bad idea. Because it leaked all over the place, right? Mm, mm. Mm. 
Look at this. Ooh. Damn. Mmm. 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 I should have let it cool down a bit. <laughs> but it's Danky Tunes, boy. This shit. Oh my god, yeah. I cracked the whole thing open. What? Look. Mm. 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 Look at this. Look at this. Look at this cheesy, gooey, tasty pastry. Ah. Mm. Look at my eyes are watering, it's so hot. Oh man, that was, if that tastes like a gay man's ass, if this is what a gay man's ass tastes like, I'd be gay for sure. Mm. Now the fresh mozzarella is where it's at. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Daddy, you're so good to me, Daddy. No, I can get used to this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Tell your friends about me. Tell your neighbors. Fuck it. Snitch on me. Go to the police station and tell on me, baby. Um, do whatever you want. Say something negative. Say I look like a homo. Say whatever. I don't think homos look negative. That's why. I like them. And uh, go to www.thisisbonjo.com to buy a free shirt. Mmm. I didn't kill this. I'm going to get back to you. That's a, good, that's a good meatball. That's a good meatball. Mm, mm, mm.